Hello, my name is Jordan Wolf, and this is my concept map for chemistry um, for Biology 2440. So, starting off, we have the atom, which is the smallest unit describing a chemical element. To the left, we have the nucleus of an atom, which is an area the area filled with protons and neutrons in the center of an atom. Um, Protons is a po their positive charges, neutrons are neutral charges, no charge, um, and those are related to a radioactive isotope, which is atoms containing an unstable amount of both protons and neutrons. One's, one has um, more than the other. From protons and neutrons, we move on to electrons, which is a negative charge. And then we go to the right, which is valence electrons, which are negatively charged particles on the very most outer shell of an atom. Um, from valence electrons, we have the electron donor and electron acceptor. Electron donor is the substance that donates the electron um, to the ion or molecule, and the electron acceptor is the ion or molecule that accepts the transfer of electron. Going back to electrons, we have nonpolar covalent bonds and polar covalent bonds. Polar covalent bonds are two atoms that share a pair of electrons, and then nonpolar covalent bonds are um, two atoms that share um, electrons unequally. From nonpolar covalent bonds, we have hydrophobic interactions, um, which are nonpolar groups that combine and they occur with um, or between low water soluble molecules. From hydrophobic interactions, we have we go to hydrogen the hydrogen bond, um, and that's a force of attraction between a hydrogen atom that is covalently bonded to one uh, or more uh, electronegative atoms. From hydrogen bond, we go down to water, which is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Um, there's two hydrogen and one oxygen atom. Hydrogen has an atomic number of one and oxygen has an atomic number of eight. From hydrogen, we have a hydrogen bond of water, which is the attraction between single water mo molecules um, create, that creates a bond. And then we go up here to adhesion and cohesion. Adhesion is how well different molecules stick or group together and then cohesion is how well the same molecules group or stick together. Down we have anion, cation. Anion is a positively charged ion and cation is a negatively charged ion. From cation we have hydrogen ion. Um, with, that's when a hydrogen gains or loses an electron. And then to the left we had a uh, hydronium ion, which is created with when an act acid interacts with water. Going back up to water, we go to pH, and that's the measure of how acidic water is. We have the pH is made up of an acid and base, the base being the aquaneous substance, and the acid being the substance with one or more hydrogen atoms that are released as ions. From the acid, we have carbo carboxylic acid, which is just an example, and that's a weak acid. And we go down to amino acid, which are the building blocks for protein. Before we go on to protein, we'll go down to amino, which are the compounds containing amino and carboxylic functional groups. Going back up to amino acids and going to the right for proteins, we have polymers of amino acids that are joined by a peptide link. From proteins, we have nucleotides, which are building blocks for nucleic acids, and nucleosides, which are the membrane proteins for nucleic acid synthesis. From nucleoside, we have sugars that contain hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, and we have monosaccharides, which are a basic form of carbohydrates, and then polysaccharides, which are a certain type of carbohydrates, but carbohydrates are mainly composed of monosaccharides. Um, from carbohydrates, we have glycolipid, which is a lipid with an attached carbohydrate. And then we go to the right to lipid, which is a fat-soluble molecule, and they contain fatty acids, which from fatty acids, we get unsaturated and saturated. Unsaturated being that it contains two carbon molecules with double or triple bonds, and saturated 
being it contains only double bonds. Now moving to the right, we have elements, which are a pure substance that cannot be broken down any further. To the right, we have the atomic number, which is the number of a chemical element, and it's the number of protons that increase in uh, the nucleus. Going back up and down, we have atomic mass, which is the mass average of an atom. And going to the right, we have Daltons, which are a unit for molecular weight of proteins. And then we go down, we have moles, which are a unit for measuring large quantities of small particles, atoms or molecules, um, etc. Then to the right, we have molarity, which is the amount of a substance in a volume of solution. And then we go down and we have molecular weight, which is the average mass of one molecule of an element. I will show y'all, thank y'all for my presentation. This is my poster. Thank you.